comic book fans. I'm taking a little break in between the interviews. WonderCon, although not as big as Comic-Con, is still a little bit too tiring. So while I'm sitting back eating sandwiches, drinking beers, I want to tell you about the sponsors of the show. First of all, big shout out to Rising Sun Creations at rsc-online.com, where they specialize in the best of manga, U.S. comic books, and collectible toys imported straight from Japan. While they're not here at WonderCon, they are there every year at Comic-Con International. And if you want more uh, information on them, go to rsc-online.com. Or if you're in the San Diego area, check out their store in Mission Valley. Also, big shout out to DeadlineGraphics.net. Kelly was nice enough to send out tons of t-shirts for the WonderCon giveaway for those who donated to the show. And... I was wearing the Immortal Iron Fist t-shirt around in a couple of those interviews, and people were stopping me and going, hey, hey where do you get that t-shirt? And I said, well, my good man, you go to DeadlineGraphics.net. Kelly, just give him an email. He does the best of uh, Marvel, DC, Image. He will do custom-made t-shirts, video game t-shirts, etc. There's only one name that I trust as the official t-shirt sponsor of Kami's Comic Corner, and that is Kelly at DeadlineGraphics.net. So enough of me rambling on. Let's get back to the convention. I am here with writer extraordinaire Joe Kelly. Joe, how is your WonderCon going so far? Uh, it's been great. Is this your is this your first WonderCon? Yeah, first WonderCon, having a fantastic time. It's really been a, an excellent show. A lot of great people. And now you have I Kill Giants, the Titanium, uh, or the Titan edition, Titanium, eh, you know, uh, edition out. And uh, have you been noticing that's been flying off the shelves? Oh, yeah, it's been great. I mean, uh, I've had plenty of people who have come over and bought the trade already, which is fantastic. Um, but, yeah, people were waiting for a little while to get this book, so now that it's here, they're happy to get it. So it's, uh, it's been great. I mean, I'm very honored that people want to invest in a book this big. Especially with uh, such an up-and-coming artist, uh, GM Ken Nomura. Like, no one, uh, I, I'd never heard about him until this book came out. And then you have Max Fumara on Four Eyes. Where do you find these artists? Uh, overseas, mostly. Uh, I've been lucky enough to get to travel, so I, I met Ken at a convention in Spain. Uh, just sat next to him at a signing and saw his work and just thought, wow, this guy's incredible. He can draw like 30 different styles. Uh, and then Max I met uh, in Argentina. Um, him and his twin brother, actually, and uh, he sent me a Christmas card that was in a different style than he had been drawing for some American comics. He said, oh, can you draw like this all the time? He's like, of course. So that's how I got to get him on Four Eyes. And I've just been so lucky, you know, you get to go around the world with, with this stuff and meet guys with different influences and different types of talent. So I grab them as soon as I get them, and then they become too famous to work with me anymore. And, you know, so I try to get them while they're young. Well, it's also cool to see that uh, when you're writing Spider-Man, a couple of the guest artists have been Max and uh, uh, J.M. Ken Nomura. So, uh, b being a part of the uh, Spidey Brain Trust, how do those meetings usually come about uh, when you're talking with the other writers about upcoming storylines? Oh, well, uh, I mean, at first it was great to, you know, Stephen Wacker and, and Tom Brevo are willing to give us a shot, you know, to try Max or try uh, Ken, which was fantastic to see them in Spider-Man. Um, but as far as the storylines, we all get together a couple times a year and hash out what we'd like to do. Since the book comes out like three times a month, we really have to work far ahead. Um, and uh, the rest of the, you know, the webheads are great. I mean, we have a great time talking. Um, everybody's very cool, and I've known a lot of them for a long time. And uh, we sort of work out the year in advance and then go to it and break up, you know, uh, like for the gauntlet. We all agreed on what we wanted to accomplish with these characters, and then it was like a free-for-all. Like, all right, well, I want Rhino, and I want this one. <laughs> so we, you know, I can run a little faster and fight a little harder, so some of these guys I was able to get. In a lot of your work, there's uh, lots of uh, emotion uh, with certain characters. Like uh, more recently with the Rhino, yeah, you, you thought with the Gauntlet, you're getting an update uh, of all the different characters, the classic villains, and then like the Rhino stands, this Rhino stands alone. All hail the Rhino. Where, how, how do you get this, these kind of emotions into the characters? Like where, where, where do you tap into? Uh, well, part of what we talked about for the, the last summit was that these characters can't just hate Spider-Man. It's the most boring ma motivation in the world. So we really wanted to re reconstruct them. And some of them we felt like were perfect kind of as they were. And other ones we just wanted to sharpen up their motivations. And the Rhino, 
the rhino is the guy that like shows up in the first three pages of somebody else's comic just so that he can get beat up. And we're like, you know, this guy could be a lot scarier and a lot more intense. So I ended up glomming onto the rhino story. It wasn't my story originally. I came in and took, took it over. Um, but the emotion for me, like these have to be human beings and to get, to, you know, love is like the most powerful emotion and to have that flip on its end and become hate for Spider-Man as a result of that story felt very powerful. And um, I don't know, I, 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 you know, definitely romantic at heart. So I mean, to have that type of a story to build these characters and, uh, and then snatch them away, you know, for, I love doing that stuff. I mean, I love putting people through that emotional gauntlet. Um, and damn you for doing so. Yeah, oh, it's funny. We've got, we got more mail on that 825 than we've seen in a long time, and it's incredible. It was a great split between people who love the story and people who love the story but were angry. They're like, come on, Oksana, oh my god. You know, it was really, really cool. So, And especially when, you know, you think things are okay with Spidey and Rhino now, but now it's just like Spidey has, again, another villain coming back to kill him. Right. It's, oh, so, okay, so you, ha right now on Spider-Man, uh, you're doing Bad Dog, Four Eyes. A any other uh, projects in the future for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we also have, you know, Men of Action. We have uh, Ben 10, Ultimate Aliens coming out on 23rd. Uh, Generator Rex, which is actually based on our old comic, M-Rex, also coming out on April 23rd. Uh, very excited about that. We've been super busy uh, over the course of the last year working that, the, the show through. And the guys, everybody working on the show, the whole staff are incredible. So that's going to be really great. Um, as far as comics go, um, yeah, I've got a couple of things in the works. Mostly getting caught up on Four Eyes and Bad Dog, because I apologize to... Everybody who's been waiting, but I want to get caught up. Ken and I are going to definitely do another project. Um, not, not with Barbara, you know, with new characters, but um, that'll be for later in the year. Uh, I'm trying to put together a horror anthology, but I'm, I'm trying not to pin myself down to any dates because I definitely I learned the hard way that you solicit when you're ready, not when you think you're going to be ready. And, uh, you know, we did it with Giants, but obviously with Bad Dog and Four Eyes, uh, the schedules got away from us. So I'm really trying to get myself back on track and, and work those things through. And finally, if people want more Joe Kelly, where can they go? Uh, well, our, our regular website is manofaction.tv. Um, there's Joe Kelly versus the Universe, uh, which occasionally I update. And, uh, you know, Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. Joe, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a good WonderCon because uh, so far I'm loving it more than San Diego. It's just so much more relaxed. Joe Kelly, everybody.